Today, for our math strategies video, we're going to be talking about the 120 chart. Okay, the 120 chart looks a lot like the hundreds chart, but it has two more lines or two more tens, which means it ends at 120. Okay, so we're going to be taking this chart, we're going to be looking for patterns, and we're going to be showing relationships between numbers. We're going to be identifying and counting up numbers by ones, twos, and fives. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you take a look at this 120 chart, it does look a lot like what you may have used in the past, okay? But instead of ending at 100, it gives me two more lines, okay? So we're gonna be using it just the same as we did the 100 chart, but it just gives me a little bit more information, okay? The column all the way to the left is gonna be where my, where my ones place is, and all the way to the right it's going to be my 10s, okay, 10, 20, 30, and so forth, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, and we're going to, we're going to focus on the number 106. I'm going to put my marker on 106, and we're going to count up by our 1s. So if we want to find one more than 106, we just need to look to the right of that number, okay, because we're just moving up one more, which would be 106. Seven. Okay, so uh, if I want to do two more than that, all I have to do is start with my 106 and count over two. One, two, which would give me 108. Okay, if I want to count up by my fives, I start at my 106 again, and I'm going to count up five squares. One, two, three, four. Four, and I know I need to go to the next column to get my fifth number, which would be 111. Okay? All right. So let's kind of um, let's shift gears just a little bit to a whole other number here. This time I'm working with 110. So I'm going to start by finding 110 on my chart, and I notice it's all the way over to the right. Okay, so when I'm counting up, I'm probably going to have, I'm going to have to go to the next row. Okay, so at 110, if I want to go up one more, I need to go to the next row, which would be 111. Okay, all right, so next I'm going to go up by two. Again, I'm going to start with 110, and I'm going to count two blocks, one, two, which gives me 100. 12. Okay, so for my last one again, I'm going to keep my marker here at 110 and I'm going to count up by five. So one, two, three, four, five, which gives me 115. Okay, all right, so now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give a number and we're going to count up by our twos. Okay, sorry. So this time we're going to be starting with. 104. So I'm going to find 104 on my chart and leave my marker. And this time I'm going to count up by my twos to find a new number. Okay, so 104, if I count up by two, one, two, I'm going to get 106. From there, I'm going to count up two more. I'm not going to go back to 104. I'm going to stick with 106 and I'm going to count up by two. So one, two, which gives me and if I add two more to 108, one, two, I'm going to get 110. Okay? So, for our last activity here, we're going to be counting up our fives. So this is a little bit more challenging, but I think we can do it. So I'm going to start at 85. I'm going to find my marker at 85, and I'm going to count up by fives to find five more than 85. So... One, two, three, four, five, which gives me 90, okay? And then I'm not going to go back to 85. I'm now going to be at 90 and count five more from there. One, two, three, four, five, which gives me 95, okay? Put my marker on 95, and I'm going to count it by five more. One, two, three, four, five gives me 100. And as you can see here... We know when we count up by our fives, we hit 85, 90, 95, 100, okay? And that's shown here on our hundreds chart. So, 
As you begin to work with your 120 chart, see if you can recognize patterns and relationships between numbers.